Because this is about me. Dorothy, dear. Uh, you can think whatever pleases you. I don't have to you can that. actually think whatever pleases you, but this is my <laughs> and it is what it is. Bass Bus has been flying up and down in the second day of the BB Niger 2021 reunion. Like, seriously, I don't even understand how to go about this. Like, guys, I actually did not want to make this video. That is because of what I am actually going through this period. If you go to my community, you will know exactly what I'm actually going through this period. But I'm Mebo will not let me be great hey guys welcome back again to my channel my name is vicky if you're seeing me for the very first time hi thank you so much for stopping by i really do appreciate all of you that come back to watch my video and those of you who are seeing me please do well to hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video guys tonight has been back and forth of bass bus and the way i'm seeing this video is going to come in two parts because like this eh, the arm about long like a long like east west road really the reunion has actually started with bass bus between watoni and dorothy uh -huh. it's your business because you're obviously I, I don't know what your problem is why are you concerned with this i'm talking to him because you're opening your stupid mouth to talk okay <laughs> Like Dorothy was literally shutting Watoni up. That is because Ebuka was asking the housemates about the triangle happening between Dorothy, um, Nengi, and Ozo. And Katrina said that she felt like Dorothy had feelings for Ozo. And Dorothy trying to deny the fact, like saying that she does not have. In fact, they see plenty thing happen when we say eh, at this very point then eh, the the if you did not watch big brother you will not be able to catch up really as in seriously you understand when dorothy is trying to tell us that she had feeling feelings for us uh, for prince and i'm like mm. it, it maybe maybe i didn't see that part i beg again we on have been see when dorothy been get feelings for prince because what she's actually saying now come let's say dorothy now has feelings for prince has feelings for brighto and who knows where else dorothy has feelings for because the program is already starting and we are already realizing that dorothy said she has feelings she had feelings for prince you understand and then katrina was saying that she felt like dorothy had feelings for also but also just saw dorothy as a friend in her words she said that also liked um dorothy's personality but maybe did not like her physical appearance okay let's say also liked the personality in Dorothy, but I'm not sure he liked the the physical. <laughs> That's what Katrina said. I'm not the one that said it. So you know, and why Katrina was saying all this, like um dorothy was already wanting to say something so when ebuka now asks um Batoni that what's up what does she think about it she now concurred that she felt like dorothy and dorothy got infuriated and was like she should not be saying that you understand and when when, when ebuka also asked dorothy to say something about the whole situation she was trying to defend herself that she actually did not have any feelings for us or it was just friendship that she had feelings for um and prince like i said and then watoni wanted to say something that was where dorothy was literally shutting watoni up it now got to a point where katrina was also telling us that also like there was something about like truly i felt like what katrina that's what i feel right now you understand not like i'm supporting but i felt like there is truth in what katrina is trying to say you know judging from the fact of, of how also actually acted when he came for that last saturday night party and you knew how nengi reacted to that um also's um, action you understand also came and was not talking to nengi at all at all not knowing that katrina told us that um, also came to his, her hotel room and said that was feeling bad about how his family and his fans are seeing him how he was following nengi up and down like him um, you know how on have been call and and all that uh, like he's a lover man and all that that he wanted to use katrina to make um nengi jealous that's why he came to the party and was maybe dancing more with um katrina and being all over katrina and not even giving even though they were asked not to talk to the housemates we understood but some people at least made some hello hi you know the maybe not a, a serious conversation but the way also the vibe also actually give that day even myself 
I mean, if you say the way we also mean they do this thing, it felt like maybe the, the words or what they were saying outside got to him and he came and was acting somehow. So that's why I'm feeling like also there is, there is truth in what Katrina is trying to say. But also came and like denied it that he never said anything like that, that he liked um, Nengi and he did not want to hurt. He cannot be wanting to use somebody to hurt um, Nengi. You understand? But me, I feel me or me, me for one because of how also acted that day. I just feel like, well, Omo, that thing Katrina said. There's an atom of truth. It might not be completely true, but if you if you judge from if you watch the show and you watch that last Saturday night party, you will get what I am trying to say. You understand? And then it all went again to talk about Nengi, Ozo, and Prince's situation. You understand? And Prince was like, the way Nengi was acting. Okay, Nengi's point was like she was not trying to play them. In Nengi's world, what do I want to use these guys to do? Because Ebuka was trying to tell Nengi that everybody feels like you're trying to use the whole guys. You understand? And Nengi was like, what thing I want to use them to do? Like, what do I want to use the guys to do? What do I want to use the men to do? You understand? And then she was, um, Prince was like. He tried and it, it seems as if Nengi was going back and forth and he pulled away. He also narrated a story where he said that Neo was the one that Neo came and advised him to try and pull Nengi down. That Nengi cannot just be a fine girl like this. That somebody should try and bring Nengi down. You know the problem, eh? Let me tell you something. Eh? For some reason, I just feel like... I so much like Nengi now because she's been very consistent. In as much as Nengi likes um, Nengi likes attention, and Ebuka was hitting on the nail of saying that Nengi wants wanted um, loyalty from Prince, wanted loyalty from Ozo when she had a relationship outside, and he does not understand. But me, for me, I feel like. If I have a friend, you don't have to be a, a boyfriend for you to be loyal. A friend can be loyal to a friend. It doesn't have to be loyalty in terms of relationship, you understand? So I feel like if Nengi is saying that she she wants loyalty from Prince and Prince is not loyal, that's why she cut off her ties with Prince, you understand? I want to understand that part because Prince seems to be a very competitive person that Omo, if your head is on the table, he will cut it off. If you're on his way to winning that thing, Omo, he's ready to cut. That's how Prince actually came out to be that's how his personality i perceived his personality to be you understand so prince was like that and nengi told him straight up that omo you're very i like you you like me as in, in prince told um, nengi that he likes him too and they liked each other but just that you know you know just rhyme anyway the story just went back and forth between prince and um, ozo and then um, and then Neng and I feel like the whole center of today's um, reunion was on Nengi. And to be very honest, she has been consistent in how she has been acting. She has been consistent in her attitude. She has been consistent in her graceful way of talking. You understand? Because it's about Dorothy Nengi and then um, also now Prince Ozo and Nengi. It's just been all about that triangle that was happening among these four people. Between you know, Nengi was always. On, on each triangle and the next triangle Nengi was always always there you know but Dorothy denied the fact that she actually did not like. in fact I see you guys let me not just lie to you guys eh? at this point eh, my head is not just thinking straight and when I think straight properly when I'm when I'm able to digest the whole thing I watched today plus my situation I'll come back for a part two of this video but I just hope you guys enjoyed this one that I'm putting out right here this is me just coming back and trying to you know bring my amiable gist to you guys in you know in my only two way that i can i hope you guys enjoyed this video please i'll be putting out the part two maybe much later and please 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 give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section what do you think about today's reunion as in as in the whole hula baloo what do you think about it leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't i'm not always like this i'm better at amable and gossip please 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 subscribe to the channel i will most definitely see you in my next one